Hi everyone, my family and friends who have tried my chicken chow mein liked it so much, I thought I would share my recipe. I like a little extra chicken in my chow mein, so I use one pound and a half of chicken breasts. And these two breasts right here weigh just that. I start by slicing the breast in half, like that. See the direction of the grain? I cut it across the grain. A quarter inch slices. So now I'm going to tenderize the chicken. For every pound of chicken, I use one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Since I have one and a half pounds of chicken, I'm going to use two and a quarter teaspoons of baking soda. So two and a quarter teaspoons. And massage it in. I don't like to put baking soda in the sauce, in the marinade, because it has a chemical metallic aftertaste and I don't like it. So I always tenderize it before marinating. Must massage it really good. Get every piece. And I'm going to let it sit in the baking soda for 20 minutes. While the chicken tenderizes, I'm going to make its marinade. Half a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of white pepper powder, four garlic cloves that I grated, two tablespoons of rice wine or sherry wine, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and mix it well. Add one tablespoon of cornstarch, mix it again. Now it's time to rinse the chicken. Rinse it well to get all the baking soda off of it. Okay, I think it's good enough. And place it in a bowl to marinate. Mix it in. And add one tablespoon of canola oil. Mix it in again. It smells good already. I cover it with cling wrap. I'm going to let it marinate in the fridge and remove it about 10 minutes before I have to use it. Now I'm going to make the sauce. I'm going to start putting in quarter cup of salted chicken broth, four tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, three tablespoons of oyster sauce, half a tablespoon of sweet chili sauce instead of sugar, half a teaspoon of white pepper powder, and one teaspoon of sesame oil. Whisk it, and that's our sauce. It's delicious, everyone, already. Mmm, yum. Okay, I put two quarts of water to boil. Ooh. And I'm going to cook the noodles. Here I have one pound of frozen noodles. You may use spaghetti if you don't have chow mein or lo mein noodles even. I've made it with thin spaghetti before and it was fantastic. You may use fresh noodles, whatever you have on hand or can find. I'm going to cook the noodles for about eight minutes until they're al dente. The noodles have finished cooking and I'm going to drain them now. Put a little bit of cold water on them to stop them from cooking. But just a little bit. I don't need to dip them in ice water or anything. I'm going to leave it right here draining and drying. Now I'm going to work on the aromatics. Here I have three garlic cloves that I chopped. I usually grate garlic for my recipes, but not for the stir fry because it's going to burn very easily. So I just chopped it. 
You may slice it if that's how you like it. I'm also going to slice half of a sweet onion. Not too thick, not too thin. Quarter to a half inch, however you like. Separate the pieces. It'll help you later. <laughs> and place the onion on a plate. I'm also going to use three green onions. Chop the ends off. Get rid of them. I'm going to chop the white part off, set it aside, slice the green part into one to two inch segments. And with the whites, I'm just gonna slice it in half. So here are the aromatics. I'm also going to slice two stalks of celery. And to remind you that the written recipe and the links to a lot of the products I use in my videos and in my everyday life are in the video description. So I like to thinly slice it diagonally like that. There you go. I also julienne a large carrot. And by the way, I removed the chicken from the fridge to get the chill out. I'm also going to use fresh ginger. So I grated half a tablespoon of it. And I also thinly sliced one third of a cabbage. If you have Napa cabbage available where you live and you can't afford it because it's pretty expensive, <laughs> use Napa cabbage. It's much better than regular cabbage. I'm only using this cabbage because I could not find Napa cabbage at the grocery store. And that's it for the vegetables. Okay, so now I'm ready to do the stir fry. I preheated my pan here on medium high heat. This is a wok kind of pan and uh, from Hexclad. I love Hexclad, I have the whole collection and I often use it in my videos. But if you don't have a wok type of pan or a deeper pan like this, you can use a large skillet. To this pan, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of canola oil. I'm going to start by frying the aromatics. I'm going to put the sweet onion in there and the whites from the green onion. And just stir it really quick. You're not going to cook this too much. You want it to have a little crunch to it, a little bite. I'm not adding the garlic yet because I don't want to burn it. Once this is almost done, I'll add the garlic. It won't take long, about a minute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic. Make a little, and stir. Don't let the garlic burn. This is going to return to the pan later, so we don't have to cook it to death. Okay, it's good for now. I'm going to remove it from the pan. If there's any little pieces of garlic or anything, you may clean it up. This time, I'm going to add four tablespoons of oil. All right, the oil is hot. Now, I'm going to add the cabbage, the carrot, and the celery. I like this spatula better at this point because a lot of vegetables this time. I'm going to cook this for about five minutes really because I don't like this one too crunchy. But you may cook for less time, like a couple minutes or three minutes even. Now I'm going to add the fresh ginger that I grated earlier. Mix it up. Ginger makes such a difference. Now that it's done, I'm going to add a little salt to it. A little pinch of salt. Here you go, done. Remove it, put it in a bowl. On to the chicken. I'm really gonna add a lot of oil now. I'm gonna cover the whole bottom of this, like that. I'm going to add the chicken. You have to spread it on the bottom. the best you can. 
all the pieces. And you have to leave it alone. Don't keep stirring it. You want it to brown well. You know, if you can spread it out a little bit like that, that's fine. But don't be stirring too much. You just want to get it a little brown on that side. And then we can flip it and stir. I'm going to let it cook like that for about a minute without stirring. Okay, so now, see how beautifully brown it got? Now I can flip it. I can mix it. At least got a little brown on one side. And try spreading a little bit more. Look how tender it looks. Because of the baking soda pre-marinade we did. Tenderizing session. <laughs> Let it cook a little bit more on that side without stirring now. All right, a little more. A little more frying. Can you see how tender that chicken is already? As soon as it hit the pan, it looked tender. <laughs> it smells so good. Don't you love the extra chicken in there? Nobody deserves to eat chicken chow mein with a little bit of chicken. Okay, leave it alone a little bit and let it cook on that side too. Whatever is touching the pan. Give it the chance to brown. All right, the chicken is done. I'm going to remove it from the pan. And it's ready for the noodles. Put three tablespoons of canola oil in here. Coat the sides like that. And my noodles are awesome. Look, they're dry. I'm going to pull this strain, oil it all up. Fry the noodles very well until they warm up very much. The chicken tastes so good. Already stole a piece. Oh my, that marinade is money. Now I'm going to add the sauce. Just a little bit, like half for now. And coat it. Coat it well. I like my chicken chow mein to be well coated. It has plenty of sauce because the noodles are going to absorb some of the sauce. So you want to have plenty. Okay, so now I'm going to add the aromatics back to the pan. It looks so good already. And the vegetables. And toss it a little bit. Incorporate it a little bit like that. Isn't that gorgeous? If you like this recipe, please leave me a like and Share with everyone you think would like it too. Subscribe to my channel. I have a variety of you know, recipes. So. Now I'm going to add the chicken. Oh wow, look at this velvety goodness. Oh, wow, and the taste everyone. You're gonna love this marinade. Even if you don't even use it for chow mein, you can use it on anything else. Cause let me tell you, this is really tasty. <laughs> this chicken is so tasty. This is getting small too, my goodness. Okay, let me do this. There you go. You don't really want to break these noodles. They're too beautiful. This can feed a large family, I tell you. Maybe a little prepping to it, but it's going to feed a lot. A lot of people. <laughs> and if your family is not large, I'm sure you're going to have leftovers the next day. I'm going to add the rest of the sauce. Do the same thing again. And let's not forget the green part of the green onions. And again, this point is just barely, you know. It'll cook in the remaining heat in this pan. Wow, they smell. A lot of food. Okay, so now here comes the secret. I'm going to push the food a little bit over to the side and add one tablespoon of rice wine. And incorporate it. And it's done. Turn off the heat 
and remove it from the heat. Look how beautiful. Look how tender and juicy this looks. And it is. Two thumbs up for sure. Better than at the Chinese restaurant. I hope you give my recipe a try and love it just like my family and my friends do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm.